In this example, we will be balancing a three-blade rotor. My name is Carmen Miller Gallagher, and this example is from Dr. Luis Medina from the University of Trau de Chile. This is a collaboration with the Virtual Rotor Project. It is required to balance a propel rotating and operational speed of 1000 RPM. Vibration has been registered in operating conditions equals to 20 mils at 150 degrees. By placing a 10 gram millimeters test weight at zero position, a vibration equals to 15 mils at 60 degrees is measured. We like to determine the corrective mass in grams millimeters and its angular position that must be added to balance the propeller. However, the mass can only be placed at the propellers which are at zero 120 or 240 degrees because it's a three blade propeller. How can we implement the solution we found in the previous points? Assume that you have variety of counterweights to be able to add the amount of corrected weight required. The data given, we have that initial vibration response of 20 mils at 150 degrees. And then we have a tray weight of 10 grams millimeters at zero degrees. That produced a second round amplitude of 15 mils at 60 degrees. Those are all vectors because they have magnitude and direction. Graphically, we can draw that as we have an initial vector of 20 mils at 150 degrees, and we have a second vector of 15 mils at 60 degrees. For our solution, we know that the second run is the initial run by and the effect of the tail weight. I'm going to subtract the second run minus the initial run to get the effect of the trail weight. To do so, I'm going to decompose the vectors in real and imaginary part. So the real part of the first run, which is 20 cosine of 150 degrees, which is negative 17.32, the imaginary part, which is 20 sine of 150, which is 10, then I have the real part of the second run, which is 15 cosine of 60, which is 750, and the imaginary part, which is 15 sine of 60 degrees, which is 12.99. Then the real part of the response to the trial weight will be 24 82 and the imaginary part will be 2.99. I can get then the magnitude of my vector which will be the real part square plus the imaginary part square. That gives me a magnitude of 25 mils. I can get the phase angle as the inverse tangent of the imaginary part divided by the real part. And that gives me a phase angle of 6.87 degrees. This can be represented graphically as the vector that goes from the tip of the initial run to the tip of the second run, T. Now we will calculate the influent coefficient, which is defined as the response to the trail weight divided by the mass that we use as a trail weight, also as a vector. We will divide the magnitudes and subtract the angles. Therefore, we get a influent coefficient of 2.5 mils grams millimeters at 6 
0.87 degrees. So the correction way is defined as negative the initial vector divided by the influence coefficient. Therefore, we calculate first the magnitude, which is then 20 mils divided by 2.5 mils over gram millimeters, and we subtract the angles. The angles then are 150 minus 6.87 degrees. Here we have a negative sign that we will compensate with 180 degrees because we want to contrarest the heavy spot. That gives me a value of 8 grams per millimeter at 323, 13 degrees. We see that the solution cannot be implemented. There is no position available at 3.23, 13 degrees to add a correction mass because we have a three blade propeller. There is only places to install a correction weight at zero degrees, 120 degrees, or 240 degrees. One practical solution then is that we have our correction mass and we instead add two correction mass, one at zero degrees and another one at 240 degrees. This is a vector equation that we can decompose as two scalar equations would be 8 cosine of 323.13 equals to my first mass cosine of 0 and my second mass at cosine of 4, 240. And the other equation will be a sine of 323.13 equals to my first mass at sine of 0 and the second mass at sine of 240. This is a system of two scalar equations with two unknowns. The two unknowns are the masses that we like to implement in my rotor. Solving the system of equation, we get that the first mass is 9.17 grams millimeters at zero degrees. Therefore, we can write this as a vector. And the second mass will be equals to 5.54 grams millimeters at 240. That is equivalent to install a mass at zero and a mass at 240 degrees. And this represents the total solution of our example.